Hey guys, it's me, Sue Joy, and today I'm back with another video. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about is Vietnam a safe country? Um, you know, uh, if you're a foreigner, is Vietnam a safe country? So I'm going to be talking from my personal experience. But before I do that, let me just have a bit of my cold brew. It's afternoon time right now, and I usually like to have a bit of my cold brew. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm going to give you uh, the short answer right away. Is Vietnam a safe country? Um, uh, according to me, yes, Vietnam is a safe country. Um, uh, I've been living here uh, for five years now. And if you're new to my channel, let me just like let, let me just tell you that, you know, I'm from India. I've been living here in uh, Vietnam for five years. Um, and, you know, I'm a person of color. So uh, I'm not a white foreigner, so I'm going to talk from my personal experience. Uh, <clears throat> I have, uh, you know, I've seen, I've gone through a couple of YouTube videos uh, of expats talking about, you know, uh, their experience of Vietnam being a safe country. Yes, um, you know, as long as you are, as long as you're minding your business and, you know, you're not creating problems for others, um, you know, and, you know, if you don't, if you're not, if you're not, you know, creating some kind of a altercation with the local people over here, I think you should be just fine, um, you know, because, you know, I've heard of stories like, you know, um, you know, if you're going to be landing up with some fight with some locals over here, you know, they can come up with their own gangs of people and, you know, they can take care of you. But um, like I said, in, uh, you know, I never had any situations whatsoever. Yes, I, I think this was a couple of years back, I did have my, my backpack being snatched uh, from the road by a motorbike uh, robber, um, you know, because I had an expensive laptop in my bag. Um, and, you know, it was nighttime, I finished my teaching and, you know, I was just waiting for my grab bike. And, you know, when I, I did a very stupid thing, I just kept the bag next to my leg. Um, you know, I should have been wearing that. And I think that, and it was a perfect opportunity. I just heard some motorbike guys zoom right in front of me. He just came right in front of me. He was like a tall Vietnamese guy, thin. He came all right in front of me. And then, you know, he just snatched my backpack and, you know, he did a wheelie. <laughs> he did a wheelie and zoomed by, you know, and... And, 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 I, and I lost it, you know, and of course, you know, I, I filed a complaint with the police, you know, I went with my Vietnamese girlfriend that time and filed, filed a complaint. But like I said, if things are stolen over here in Vietnam, um, it's very difficult to get it back. Okay, so say, for example, if you're having an iPhone, you know, it's, it's better not to expose it a lot, you know, when you are, you know, when you're traveling around, when you're commuting or if you're driving a motorbike. Or if you are using a grab bike and, you know, you're just taking out your expensive iPhone and, you know, uh, because that could be an opportunity for for someone to come from behind and just snatch your stuff, you know. Uh, so be mindful for that and also never expose how much of cash you have because, you know, you know, you will be a target. Like, for example, if I'm going to open my wallet and, you know, show around like, you know, I'm carrying a lot of money, uh, you know, I'm carrying a lot of uh, Vietnam dongs with me and all that. Um, you know, there will be people, you know, they can, you know, there there can be people who can, who can tag you. And, you know, if it's the perfect opportunity, you know, they'll just, um, they can, they can, you know, they can, they can snatch, they can, you know, they can pickpocket your wallet. And that's the reason why I always recommend you keep a man bag with you, you know, just keep it close to your chest and just, Keep the man bag with you, you know, your, keep your valuables, your documents. Um, you know, um, the, the, the way I have been able to live here for so long is, you know, my, I kept my life very simple over here. I mean, I could have been in a position of buying an iPhone uh, or an expensive phone or something. But, you know, I, li I like to live a very normal life. You know, I mean, I just I use a very average phone um, um, and, uh, you know, with the cracked um, casing cover, back casing cover. Um, and it's just like, um, um, 
and it's got it's just very simple phone you know which i use it's a smartphone but it's a very simple phone you know i mean i do get the temptations of buying an iphone you know from lazada and all that you know or you know just want to deck up my lifestyle but i know i'm in southeast asia i mean this is even applicable if you're if you're going to be staying in philippines um you know um but you know from my personal experience when i was there in uh, philippines for Five years. I used to live in Manila. Yeah, there are a lot of crimes, a lot of pickpocketing, um, daily basis. Um, you know, but if I compare that with Vietnam, definitely it's very safe. Uh, it also depends where you're exactly living. Um, you know, like if you're staying in Ho Chi Minh City, everything's fine. Like I did a little social experiment yesterday. Like I was, I finished my workout at home and then I went out at night for a stroll for a stroll um, if you don't know I'm living out here in the countryside I'm staying out here at Long An so there are no foreigners where I stay over here you know I always I always admired nature um, you know I have a sensitive sensitive lung uh, and a sensitive chest so you know the pollution sometimes gets a lot gets a bit too much for me uh, because you know I've been living in Ho Chi Minh City for so many years. So I did the I, I did the big um, decision of shifting to the countryside. I've been living here for a year now. You know, it's just like clean air, environment is different. But you know, there are no my, there, I don't see any foreigners over here. Uh, but yeah, I I mean I, I did that experiment, social experiment last night. You know, I was just walking around and. Yeah, I did feel a bit insecure because, you know, like sometimes, you know, like because I'm not a white person, you know, like I have dark brown skin, uh, you know, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm from India. So, you know, like when I was just walking around, I had these passerby motorbike guys, these young guys, you know, they would just pass by me and they would just they would just give me that point blank stare. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes you got to be careful. And I was very worried when I was keeping my phone and on my hand and recording it. Um, you know, I thought that, you know, that, you know, somebody can snatch it, but I think it was all right. Um, but like I said, um, as long as you are not showing off to the people over here, okay, if you go to the coffee shop, you know, take out your, uh, your, your smartphones and your expensive laptops and all that, that's all fine. But I would not recommend that you do that in a in a public place or you know too much expose your iPhone and just you know wave it around a lot and especially you know if you're driving in a motorbike um, you know just be careful because you know like if I'm going to be going in a motorbike if I'm using a grab bike and if I really want to take out my phone uh, I just make sure that I come to a traffic stop then I take out my phone and just check some messages or and then just put it right in my pocket even if I get a call on my phone, I'm not going to take it out and, you know, when uh, when I'm using a grab driver when he's driving. So I usually take out my phone if it's on a traffic stop uh, because, you know, there can be somebody coming from behind. They can snatch your phone. Um, you know, this, this has happened in Cambodia. I've seen from one YouTuber. He actually documented this that, you know, one of his expat friends was live streaming on an iPhone and suddenly, you know, some... Cambodian girl, you know, she was she was sitting behind that dude on a motorbike and, you know, she's trying to literally snatch that iPhone, you know. So, yeah, you got to be careful of all these things in Southeast Asia. As long as you're minding your business and, you know, you're not creating any kind of uh, problems or altercations. And if you're not trying to be like a smart ass, I think you're going to be just fine. Um, you know, so just try to live a very simple lifestyle. I mean, just try to, you know, don't try to flash your stuff, your, your, your money and all that. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, I never had any issues whatsoever besides that robbery, which I had. And, you know, if you're using a backpack, you know, always just keep your backpack with you. Uh, I would never recommend that you keep your backpack next to your leg, um, when you're standing and waiting for someone or your grab bike, you know, because there can be someone coming from behind and snatching it. So just if you're using a backpack, just keep it in between your legs and just keep it or just put it behind you or, you know, just uh, because, um, you know, like many people say Vietnam is completely safe. 
Um, I don't agree with that because, you know, like I said, I had that robbery which ha happened a couple of years back. And, you know, so, yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, like I feel like buying a nice phone um, here in Vietnam. But, you know, also at the same time, I'm a bit worried, you know, like if I buy that phone, you know, is that going to be rise? Is somebody going to rob it from me? So, but, yeah, I mean, from where I come from, definitely, um, you know, I'm, I'm from India. So where I come from, um, you know, I definitely find Vietnam to be much safer. Uh, but like I said, um, so um, also when it comes to, um, I mean, I never had that kind of situation, you know, like, you know, if I'm walking down the roads or people are drinking beer, you know, they'll smile and ask me to come and drink. They'll ask me to come and join join them for a beer. It's never happened to me because, you know, like I said, I'm not a white person. Um, you know, I have dark brown skin. Uh, I'm from India. So the perception is different over here, you know, because like I said, um, you know, uh, Vietnam, you know, the Vietnamese society is very infatuated with white skin, with pale skin. So, um, you know, so that's the sad reality. And I hope it changes from time to time. Anyways, coming back to the safety, um, you know, that's what I had to suggest. And yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you know, as long as you're minding your own business and you're not creating any altercations and you're not flashing your items around, you know, I think you should be you should be just fine. And also be very careful, like, you know, when you're, you know, when you're using your ATM machines, because sometimes it's happened to me like, you know, I use the ATM machine, uh, you know, I put my card inside and then the card is stuck inside the ATM machine and the bank is closed during that during that hour in the at night. And, you know, I got to come back the following day and, you know, then you got to sort that out, you know. So it's happened to me a few times. Um, yes, there are a couple of scams uh, which you got to be careful of, um, you know, because if you're staying downtown, you know, especially the tourist locations, District 1, you got to be very careful of all the scams. Uh, be careful of the uh, shoe scams, um, you know, because, you know, if you're going to be asking one person to clean your shoe, then somebody else will come and then, you know, they'll start creating some altercations with you. Uh, and also be very careful when you're going to Bolivian Street, okay? I mean, keep when I walk around Bolivian Street, I make sure I keep both of my hands, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, just uh, protecting my wallet and my and my phone, you know, because you know I don't want I don't want someone to come and you know just pickpocket my uh, my wallet or something because you know of course you're keeping your international cards and you know your IDs and all that. Um, it's, I think it even happened to my girlfriend, you know, like, uh, this was, I think last year, um, uh, sorry, this was, I think two years back, you know, I mean, uh, she was like, she got her salary and, you know, like she, um, she took out half of her salary and she kept it in her, in her uh, wallet, you know, in her, in her, in her purse. And she went to a crowded market and, you know, when she came back home, she saw somebody actually pickpocketed, you know, uh, the money, you know, so don't carry too much of cash with you. Uh, that's also one more suggestion. Um, I would recommend, you know, uh, just keep, you know, like you can keep 1 million or, you know, 1.5 million, but don't carry a lot of money with you. Like, you know, don't carry 5 million, 10 million, 20 million, you know, because then you will be a tag target. You know, um, I, I never take out all the money from the ATM machine. I, I just take out what I really need for, you know, two, three days or for that week. But I think it's a very stupid idea if you want to take out all the money from the ATM machine. Um, you know, definitely, I would not even recommend you to carry $200 even in your wallet because, you know, like, if you're going to a tourist location or if you're going to an isolated market or something, you know, uh, you got to be careful, you know. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's it. Uh, and, 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 and as per the gun laws over here, um, I know that you're not allowed to carry firearms over here, unlike in the Philippines, where it's very cheap to buy a firearm. And, you know, there are a lot of crimes and killings in the Philippines, you know. Uh, you know, so if I compare that, definitely Vietnam is very safe. People don't carry weapons around over here. I know in India, from where I come from, you know, that like if you're going to Delhi, um, you know, it's kind of normal for 
some gangsters to carry weapons with them and you know but you know like i said from where i come from i definitely find vietnam to be safe yes there are a couple of challenges like in terms of walking alone at night i don't feel safe about that i did that social experiment last night i was not very comfortable with that because you know i had a lot of people coming by their motorbikes and you know, they just give me that point blank look so yeah it was a bit scary i had i had like my heart pounding on my chest um you know so i like to just be at home um you know i'm more comfortable moving around if i'm if i'm downtown ho chi minh city um you know but like i said during daytime evening time um early evening hours i think it's quite safe out here in the countryside i would not experiment walking around alone at night uh because since i'm the only foreigner out here so um you know so um you know and also i just want to say that i never had the situation where you know people would ask me come and have a beer or you know like been living here for many years never happened to me so you know the perceptions are different so that's all i got to say and you know this is from my personal experience um so you know i hope you found this video to be useful and if you like watching this video make sure to like and subscribe to my channel i'm also going to keep a I'm also going to give uh, keep a link down below um you know if you like to if you're serious about starting an online business in Southeast Asia and having a stable passive income lifestyle um so with that being said uh, you know you guys have a great weekend this was me Sue Joy peace out